love hula ho. <laughs> Another evening. This one we hula hoed, nice bed. We think we're gonna finish hula hoing this one. Last two, we'll till with the tractor and then set the new post in. And then these right, these three right here, will go no till. I'll just come back with the weed eater and I'll just burn it down, but I won't disturb the soil. And then we'll have three different hula ho, no till, tractor plow. All three, we're gonna put the sheep fertilizer on, you know, just to help them. Cause even hula ho in these beds, it's not like, you know, I, I feel like it doesn't do the, the deep till you know, you're just scratching the surface, you know? Yeah. But it's a lot of labor. It is. So if we could weed eat and then do a no-till kind of deal, like where you don't even really mess with it, and the lupus do good and they're strong, mm -hmm. we'll go full no-till. Yeah, here. yeah. And we plan on putting down some sort of mulch at the end of the year. Yeah. So then that the way the weeds don't come back as strong as they do. And we could even, once we plant, the loofahs start straw around straw it. For the, uh, that way summer cools the roots and keeps the water on the roots. Yeah. I think the straw and the no-till is going to pay off. And then we won't have to do this. <laughs> This hula hoeing, man, it like. Oh, it's some work. When you hit a, a, a big root, it like. It's like pops your spine. <laughs> yeah. Yup. So yeah. we'll try it. We'll finish this row and. Uh, we'll just watch it for the year. Yeah. See what happens. on the shelf and I sold the string out. Is that where you got it? <laughs> yeah. So oh there's a, there looks like quite a oh, bit yeah. actually. I'm gonna get this done right now. It took about 30 minutes for us to hula ho that lane and uh, we'll see how long it takes for Ronnie to weed eat. Three. Three. <laughs> be like five minutes. Was that easier? Yeah, you know, you're not like jolting your back, swinging your arms. You're just like holding this, hovering it around, you know. Last year we tilled this. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a mound, kind of yeah. how these are. So this was tilled last year. Um, and we even had the holes pre-drilled and the stakes in for the stake to support everything. So Ronnie's gonna come down here with the tractor yeah, disc it, it and then we'll have these two rows and then we'll also disc we don't have it laid out yet out in this area probably three more rows and that's going to be the garden. garden yeah so we have a lot of work <laughs> but these all be easy tractor yeah no problem yeah gen one on the no till so yes first year is going to be a little tougher implement some things and it, and then it should start yep. working for you 
So last year we attempted to let a few vines just kind of grow crazy and uh, all over the ground and turned out that that was a little difficult. Yeah. It was beautiful because it was just like a, like a blanket of a loofah. loofah. Yeah. yeah. But to get in there and try to pick the loofahs, uh, it was just... Yeah, you're stepping on loofahs trying to get through. You can't pick. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So that was the no trim method. Yeah, we, we're testing stuff we are. for you guys. We are. Yeah. yeah, so <laughs> this we're learning. Year, yeah. vines are getting trimmed. And uh, also we have Different the... bed styles. Yes. So... Yeah, every year we're testing. Yeah. Testing things, seeing what works here. Yeah, exactly. At the end of all this, Loof Lady's gonna write a book and uh, you'll know exactly what to do. Exactly. <laughs> From all our hard work and uh, failures. <laughs> What's that? A gopher? Oh, wow. What is that? A moon? No, it's a gopher trail. Wow. Wreck tin plants right there. Yeah. It's just crazy. I was just like going like that. See that? I'm just, I'm still going. I can feel it. I can feel it. Jeez. Yeah, back and forth. Oh, yeah. Right there. Wow. Right now is the time to scour, and, and if you see any gopher movement, they put a trap on it. Yeah. So, I'll be keeping an eye out. It'd probably be easier to spot them on the no-till. Yeah. Because that looks... That looks pretty beat up, a little rough. Kind of hard Tilled to up. Yeah, already looking yeah. like Yeah, whereas gopher. this, you can see if a gopher comes in. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, okay. All right. Put that on the Pros list. and cons. <laughs> yeah. All right, Gage's first attempt. He's going to bottle flip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that was like his tip attempt. <laughs> take that tree out or are we gonna be good stand on that okay I think we're gonna have to lose her look the sheep are a shoot on the side oh yeah that was that was old Rambo yeah well you may have to put it out <laughs> it's misery that's a tracked hard job yeah and now we're here on the last day. I'm gonna use it in 10 minutes. A little trauma. There's another thing I was thinking. Bigger bar. Oh. I can just feel the thing going on. Yeah. And, right. and, and she ain't moving. We're gonna try to heat it up. Oh, okay. That's why I'm going to go with the hammer heating. All Try right. to expand. Plumbing duels. That worked. Try to keep it kind of on the seat.
so you pulled the tree out that was in the middle of this little area that we actually need the room for. I hate to be pulling out any kind of trees, but we planted it about eight years ago, hoping to get some shade from it, but you know, things change and now that's gonna be where we're actually growing food for ourselves. So as much as I'd love to have the shade, I'd rather have food right now and we'll plant another tree in its honor somewhere out here. So far we have our first two rows that we hula ho to get all of the weeds out. Then we have our three rows of no-till, no nothing pretty much. Ronnie went down those three rows with the weed eater and whack the weeds down really low to the ground so our hope is they will die off and we can just go ahead and plant our loofahs and let it just be a no-till row. We'll see how that does. Worst case, we'll be pulling some weeds as the loofahs are growing. And then we have two more rows right here behind me that Ronnie just used the tractor to disc. And so those are going to be our disc rows. They're going to be our new rows this year. Um, and so we got to get the posts in the ground and kind of dig the dirt up a little bit. We're going to use some of our compost to put in the dirt. We'll plant some of our seedlings there. And then the other rows that Ronnie is disking right now are actually going to be for our garden. Our garden used to be in the front of our property and we decided, hey, you know what? It'd be kind of nice to have our garden out here with the loofahs that we grow. Um, we're out here all the time, checking on our animals and tending to the loofahs. And this is just our happy place. So why not make it even happier with having our garden here? Um, a lot of the stuff that we have in the background will be leaving soon. So that will be nice. It's gonna clear up a lot of area and you know, just rejuvenate this old property. Mm -hmm.